Hello again. In this video, I'm going to take a look at what's called determinate attributes. Now we know attributes are product features, product benefits, characteristics of the product, characteristics of the brand that consumers take into account when making purchase decisions. But what are determinate attributes? Now to make sense of it, I'm quickly going to cover the buyer decision process that you've probably seen before. And these are the steps that a buyer goes through in making a purchase decision. Initially, there is some need or sometimes called problem recognition. So they have a problem in their life or they've run out of something or they feel that they need something and then they go, I need to buy something. So this is the starting point. If it's a higher involvement type purchase, they gather information, they, they look at things, they may jump online, they may look at ads, they may look at products in the store. And then they have this short list of possibilities. And then they go, okay, which one do I want? Which is the better choice? So if you're buying a car, for example, you'll look at multiple cars. If you're looking at a piece of software, you'll do the same thing. And you'll do that before you make a, a final decision. And here we make a choice and we decide on, on a, the product we're purchasing after all this work and then afterwards there's going to be some customer satisfaction feedback from us or that was good or not and some potential some behavior there but here i've got arrows coming off off evaluation of, of alternatives because it's here where perceptual maps come into play and determinate attributes become quite important now determinate attributes are the deciding attributes. They're the ones that consumers will be using to go from here, evaluation, to choice. So I've got two, two examples here, a hotel and an airline, so we're going on a holiday. Um, so we're going somewhere, we're going to a city, and we start looking at hotels, and if it's a tourist city, there are going to be hundreds, if not more, choices. So we go through and say, well, I want to be in this part of the city location. You start looking at online ratings, reviews, see what other people think. Obviously price points are always important. And things like facilities of the hotel. Does it have a pool, for example? So these are the attributes that we consider to be important that we are looking for in the purchase. And then we get down to this short list of three or four hotels that all are similar and we cannot decide. Similar location, ratings about the same score, price points around the same, they all got a pool. Now what? Now we have to go down to attributes which are less important to us that we initially did not start looking at and then go, okay, what's the difference here? So. Does the hotel offer views? Do you have a view of the, the city or a view of the ocean or something? And what size rooms do they have? And then we take those three or four or five hotels we were looking at and we make the, the decision based on these relatively minor attributes. So initially, these were not a consideration. We're not thinking about them. But we got to the point where, yep, 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 okay, I've still got five hotels left, what do I do? So this forms the basis of a logical perceptual map. P poor views, good views, big rooms, small rooms. And if we can be positioned well there, then we're going to win a lot of these sales because all of these become points of parity. So this is where the hotels are quite similar. And this is our points of difference. And if we can stand out there, we will win sales. So those attributes have determined choice. Same thing for an airline. We're looking for an airline to get to this city. And we're looking at airlines that go there, like places or locations, times, days that suit us, uh, price point, seating comfort. And then we get down again to maybe two or three airlines. Okay, which one do we go for? They're all similar here. They all have points of parity. There's not a lot of difference. And then we might go, you know, uh, food. You know, what food do we get? 
and I should have read likely delays. So looking at reviews, how often are they delayed? And then these form the basis of our perceptual map. Good food or high quality food, not, no food perhaps, low likelihood of de delays, high likelihood. So again, not necessarily jumping out of us at initially, not going, I'm going to choose an airline based on food. We don't do that. We go, I need an airline that gets me there. Uh, it goes at, at night time because I want to travel overnight. Uh, X price range, uh, comfortable seating. They're the things we want. They're important. They, we must have them. But the difference, the differentiations, what is determining choice or deciding choice are these things, food and, and likelihood of delays. So they become our determinant attributes. So often when we have a look at perceptual maps, we don't look at the important things because they're not telling us much because we're matching to our competitors because they're the things that com consumers expect us to have. So once we have those, tick, 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 then we move to points of difference that matter, that are going to drill down and a consumer is going to make a decision on. Hopefully that makes sense now and please like and subscribe.